pull yourself and your school supplies together. Miss Smith is taking away my phone again. Why? Calm down. I'm making your life easier. Here's your new phone stand. Cut the used pegs out of an old spiral bound notebook. Take the spring out at one side. Put a rubber band on the cover. Set the spiral back. Repeat for the other side. Set the notebook down and fasten a phone on it using the rubber bands. This old notebook cover makes a perfect phone stand. I want to create a sketch outdoors. And here are my mini crayons. They are hidden in a glue stick for convenience. Take wrappers off broken pieces of crayons. Put them into a silicone mold. Microwave them stirring every 30 seconds. Pour the melted crayons into an empty glue stick tube. Make a few colorful layers. Let it harden. Are you actually gonna draw with a glue stick? No, it's a crayon, but its shape is perfect for drawing outdoors. Does your eraser look terrible? Let's give it a new shape. Cut new shapes out of old erasers using cookie cutters. Define the shape with a utility knife. Make different figures. Now Miss Smith has a whole garden of eraser flowers and hearts. Pick out whichever you like. Miss Smith loves nature. Let's see if she likes grasshoppers. Paint two wooden coffee stirs. Cut them and hot glue them together at an angle. Attach them to an old stapler on both sides, like grasshopper legs. Color the stapler with green acrylic paint. Cut a cocktail straw. Make a swirl using scissors and hot glue it to the stapler antenna. Fasten pieces of black light clay to be eyes. Add finishing touches using a dry brush with gold paint. Hi, I'm your new student. Oh my goodness! Wow, amazing! This is my old stapler, and it's not scary at all. Stephanie's pencils are flying around the whole desk. But I know how to tame them. Attach old pencils to pieces of broken pencils and hot glue them to an old school supply cup. Fasten the pencils at an angle and group them by colors. Voila! A school supply cup made out of school supplies! Now they're glued to each other. But that doesn't stop Stephanie. Let's take a lemonade break. We'll refresh Miss Smith's mood with a citrus notebook. Draw a round edge on a notebook with a damaged cover using a compass. Cut off the excess with a utility knife. Open up the spiral and put in an orange foam sheet shaped like the notebook. Close the spiral back together. Attach a white base and triangular orange pieces out of foam paper on top. Add sparkly self-adhesive foam paper seeds. Oh, this is so adorable! Miss Smith loves citruses! She will be using this orange notebook all summer long. 
And what is this? Is this a life hack of how to do without a pencil case? Rosie's case is so shabby that she's ashamed to use it. Come on, let's bring it back to life. Clean the inside of an old pencil case using toothpaste. Cover the scratch surface with sparkling fabric. Fold up the fabric near the zipper to hide the seam. Hot glue the edges. Attach ribbon to the ring on the slider. Hot glue a unicorn patch. Yay! The pencil case is like new again. It's sparkly and fresh. Miss Smith is teaching class outdoors. This was last year's topic. What are you reading? Take this bookmark with an adorable Loch Ness monster so you can find the right page. Cut a piece off an old plastic folder. Cut out a monster following a template. Mark lines on the curves using a marker. Make cuts with a utility knife at the marks and wipe off the marker. Attach a plastic eye. Fasten the bookmark onto a book. Hey, monster, sit on the right page. Great, now this textbook is guarded by the Monster Protection Society. Why is this sheet of paper so lonely? Are you going to take notes on it? Shame on you. Take this sparkly notebook. Cover a ruined notebook cover with decorative tape. Attach it by slanted strips. Wrap the ends underneath. Cover the spine with a straight strip of tape. Cut off the excess. Wow, this notebook is radiant. And what should I write with? Give me your pencil. Sure, I've got a better one for myself. Awesome. Wrap an old pencil in sparkly tape. I also have binder clips in my collection. Here's one for you. Decorate binder clips with tape. Now I've got a whole set of glittery school supplies. Miss Smith lost her page. Just don't lose your composure. What do we have here? A skein of yarn from our macrame seminar? It'll do the trick. Put a small bunch of threads onto a paper clip. Tie it into a ponytail. Wrap a thread around the base so you get a tassel. Hot glue the end. Attach googly eyes. Trim the threads to shape an oval hairstyle. Make a paper clip with two pigtails the same way. Miss Smith made cute bookmarks. These hairstyles draw attention to the right page right away. All my markers are refusing to work. What's wrong? Wait! Don't get rid of them yet. We can make an organizer out of them. Hot glue old markers together into a square. Attach the markers on top of each other, making a grid. Hot glue a cardboard base on top. Turn the stand over. Spray paint it. Put in school supplies. Wow, what a simple solution. 
Now the stand looks like a masterpiece of modern minimalist design. Its shape is clean and perfect. Some pencils didn't make it till the end of the year. How am I supposed to draw with them? We have a hack. Join and conquer. Hot glue two short pieces of pencils together. Cover the connection with decorative tape. I created a new kind of pencil. It's a special deal. Get two pencils for the price of one and save some money. What's with this burst of art on the desk? My neighbor was just experimenting with a pencil sharpener. Oh well, decorative tape isn't a good idea. I'll show you a better way to upgrade your sharpener. Coat an old ball-shaped pencil sharpener with acrylic primer. Paint the half with a hole beige and the other one red. Paint hair with bangs using black paint. Add a red liner under the hole. That'll be Pinocchio's mouth. Attach plastic eyes. Stick in a blunt pencil to be a nose. It's a tiny little Pinocchio. The pencil sharpener is completely different now. It looks like a fun toy. Did you like our useful school supply hacks? Then let us know in the comments about how you would upgrade your old pens and notebooks. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so that you don't miss new school ideas from Troom Troom.